What's going on guys? This week I've been driving the 2019 Ram 1500. Now this truck was named Truck of Texas at our Truck Rodeo this year, and it's also one of my personal favorite trucks to come out this year. So let's take a look around it, inside it, let's drive it, and see what we think. Taking a look at the exterior of this truck, I think that this and the Ford F-150 are the best looking trucks out on the market. I really think that both trucks can be beautiful looking, pretty looking, and masculine looking, and tough looking. And this Ram has the Longhorn package, which really gives it a nice flavor. All right, enough with the exterior. Let's jump inside and take a look around. All right guys, so obviously it's not just the exterior that makes this truck so good. Uh, it has a really fantastic interior. And as you saw in the um, Ram Rebel review that we did not too long ago, it doesn't even have to be the top of the line interior and it's still really nice. Obviously this massive touchscreen display that splits into two sections or it can be one huge display is incredible. I really love the ergonomics and layout of everything, especially the steering wheel. It makes driving super easy and comfortable. And in conjunction with how comfortable the ride is with the uh, air suspension and everything, uh, this is just a super good um, long road trip kind of vehicle. Having the wireless charging pad, um, all those USB and USB type C ports, um, the little tray that makes it easy for you to put your phone in there and have it plugged in, having Apple CarPlay, all of this makes for a really modern truck and I really like modern interiors. So let's start her up and see how she drives. You do have the same uh, rotary dial for the transmission. Um, some people don't like it. Some people want this big honking thing right here, which takes away from your center console. Some people want the big honking thing right here, which it's... So as far as the drive goes, this is a fantastic driving truck. It has been for a while now, and the 2019 just ups the game. You get that air suspension that makes the ride super smooth. You can lower the height, um, to make it more aerodynamic, you can raise it for better off-roading. Again, it's just a great ride. You get radar-guided cruise control, which is great for long road trips. So with that smoothness, with that radar-guided cruise control, with a nice modern interior, this is just a fantastic place to be. This truck is the Longhorn Edition, obviously, and um, it's a really nice interior. I like it a lot. It's got the Harman Kardon, uh, sound system in it which is really great and uh, especially if you like bass this thing has really great bass my wife isn't a fan of a lot of bass in her music so she always turns it down but even with this thing turned down with the bass of this thing turned down it's uh, too much for her but I don't mind it the mirrors on this thing are really great it's got the uh, dual mirrors so you got more of a close more of a wide angle view um, and they fold in they don't fold in automatically when you lock the car, which would be nice, but you can touch a button and let them fold in, which is super helpful for a wide track vehicle like a truck. Uh, the reverse camera is a 360 camera, which I think every truck SUV needs, even cars, I love them. Um, but uh, for a big vehicle like this, having that 360 camera when you're parking, fantastic. And it's made even better on this big touchscreen display. 
Other conveniences that you get with um, RAM are like the RAM box, which might seem gimmicky, but really come in handy um, if you use this thing every day. Again, you get a lot of technology in this thing, which is great, um, not just for the driver, but for the family. And if you're really inclined, this thing will go just about anywhere you want it to go. So obviously there's a lot of competition in the truck market, um, but Really my top two trucks, and I said this during my Ford uh, F-150 review, the Ford F-150 and this Ram truck are my two favorite trucks. The Ford's been so good so long that it's just hard to deny how great that vehicle is. The Ram truck has been getting better and better every year, um, but I really think that this one really outpaces the F-150. As far as price goes, it is an expensive truck. Um, that big touchscreen display adds a lot uh, to it. This is the Longhorn package. It's not the, even the most expensive truck that they make, but it is an expensive truck. Um, this one is just over $62,000, which um, is a lot and uh, makes it a little bit out of reach for a lot of people, especially myself, but it is a fantastic truck. And even if you get into one of the more base models, I think it's still a fantastic truck. One of the things I would love to see is Ram adding a, uh, adding a back to this thing and some third row seats, really to give uh, Chevy more of a competition besides the um, Durango. I think the Durango is a great vehicle, but um, something based on this uh, 1500 platform with the, with the back and a third row with this interior. I know I said in my review of the, uh, of the Yukon Denali that one of my big gripes on that is it's, it's price, it's so expensive. And I know if Ram did this, it would be just as expensive as if not more, um, but I would love to see it because that's a vehicle I would love to drive, even though I couldn't afford it. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this 2019 Ram 1500. And as always, Thanks for watching.